Welcome, listeners, to another episode of Continuous Improvement. I'm your host, Victor, and today we're going to explore a topic that many of us can relate to, the fear of public speaking. Have you ever found yourself feeling anxious or terrified at the thought of speaking in front of a group? Well, you're not alone. In fact, I used to have a phobia of public speaking myself, until I discovered Toastmasters, a fantastic organization that helps individuals improve their public speaking skills. In today's episode, we'll dive into the transformative power of mentorship in overcoming the fear of public speaking. I recently came across a blog post discussing the amazing progress made by a young girl with big dreams of becoming a successful diplomat translator. And her mentor, Ernest Chen, played a crucial role in her journey. Over time, the young girl's fear of public speaking started to fade away as she received guidance and support from her mentor. And it wasn't just about delivering a flawless speech, but about building confidence and self-assurance. Ernest taught her that there's no right or wrong when it comes to public speaking, encouraging her to start with the first sentence and let the rest flow naturally. But let's be honest, overcoming this fear takes time and effort. I can attest to that myself. Even after years of practice and honing my skills, I still experience those familiar nerves when it's my turn to speak in front of a group. But I've learned to embrace what my mentor told me, don't be afraid, just start with the first sentence. Last week, I had a critical presentation in front of a large audience, including senior executives of a multinational corporation. The fear was there, but I summoned my courage and applied the lessons I've learned from my mentor. And you know what? The presentation went incredibly well, impressing even the CEO of the client company. I owe a tremendous debt of gratitude to my mentor, Ernest Chen. He has shown me that with time, practice, and the right guidance, we can overcome our fears and communicate more effectively. So, if you find yourself struggling with a fear of public speaking, I highly encourage you to seek out mentors like Ernest Chen or join organizations such as Toastmasters. Remember, it's not about eliminating the fear completely, but rather learning to navigate it and grow more confident each day. Well, that's all for today's episode of Continuous Improvement. I hope you found inspiration from the journey of this young girl and her remarkable mentor. Don't forget, listeners, your mentor is here, whether it's someone physically present or just the memory of their wisdom guiding you. Thank you for tuning in, and remember, the first sentence is just the beginning of an incredible speech. Until next time, keep striving for continuous improvement.